Now we have to hand this waste down to our children and our children's children for 4,000 generations. <laughs> so, so it doesn't go away. So that's, it's kind of a huge human blunder that we got into this. Now, did we know it would be a blunder when we first started going in? No, seemed like a reasonable thing to do. This is lethal stuff and something you know that people should be aware of. It's not like our fires here in California. You can't see it, you can't smell it like smoke. This is an, an invisible entity that cannot be contained. And so once that genie is out of the bottle, we're all in it together. They'll tell you, Al, these might last a hundred years. They don't actually know that because they've never had them a hundred years. The remains of this ancestor were telling us that something was going on and that something was wrong. It's like having a, a tumor on your body and it's just there and there's nothing you can do about it. You've tried to do something about it, but you can't because no one has been listening about it. Ron Pontes, portavoz de Southern California Edison, el principal propietario de la planta, advierte que al final de la jornada los funcionarios de la planta respetan las preocupaciones de los residentes locales en relación con el almacenamiento a largo plazo de desechos nucleares y que aquí, en San Onofre, la seguridad de esas operaciones es de carácter primordial. We're very committed to the safety. Safety is our core value. It's our core value here and in the plants throughout this country. En última instancia, añade Pontes, la responsabilidad de lo que suceda a largo plazo con los desechos nucleares en San Onofre recae en el gobierno de Estados Unidos. Corresponde a las autoridades federales encontrar cuanto antes un lugar permanente donde depositar todos estos residuos radiactivos. There is a recognized problem, but it has to be solved by our government. Government should act to take care of this problem. Ha 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 